In Iceland, four former bank chiefs have been jailed for fraud. The sentences go as far as five years behind bars. They're accused of concealing that a Qatari investor bought a stake in their firm, using cash lent from the bank itself, illegally. The deal took place just ahead of the collapse of the bank due to huge debts. For more insight, let's cross live to economic expert Charlie McGrath, founder of news website Wide Awake News. Thank you for joining us, sir. Now, this is the biggest penalty for such crimes in Iceland's history. Explain why this is so significant. Well, it's significant uh, in regards to the 2008 crisis, because if you happen to be living here in the United States, you know, where a lot of these, the majority of these too big to fail institutions uh, are headquartered where the true culprits are, where they're living, these CEOs and uh, COOs of these, uh, these uh, massive corporations, these massive too big to fail institutions, not one of them has went to jail. Not one of them has been indicted. There's been a handful of uh, token uh, uh, fines that have been paid by these corporations. And let me reiterate, by the corporations, not by these individuals themselves. So we see actual, an actual government, an actual people, a nation stepping up and saying, I'm sorry, you uh, committed fraud, you screwed over a nation, and you're going to pay for it with your butt being put behind bars. This is exactly what needed to happen in the United States and the rest of the world. It, it's what needs to happen now. And uh, my hat's off to Iceland for standing up to these, uh, to these bankers. So since this is, it seems to be setting a bar, do you think that this will, this will spread to other countries um, in light of the fact of what's happened in Iceland and then the 2008 uh, crisis? Do you think that this will be contagious? I hope so. Uh, you know, I'm not optimistic of that, but uh, unfortunately, myself and a lot of other people, Gerald Salinti, Jim Rogers, Mark Faber, Harry Dent, we all believe that there's another mega collapse coming. And let's face it, these institutions that we called too big to fail in 2008, six of them, the six of the top uh, largest ones, are 37% bigger than they were in 2008. They hold sway over the economy, they hold sway over the government, and we're doing the exact same things that led to a collapse in 2008. I truly believe 2008 was a financial terrorist event. It was a financial 9-11 committed by these uh, institutions. And when we go into the next crisis that is going to affect the entire globe, I hope that Iceland is held up as a model on how you deal with these scum. Well, in, in light of this scandal, and as, as you mentioned, the financial crisis that uh, followed, how much involvement do you think governments should have over the dealings of financial institutions? Well, you know, here in the United States, we pretend that they, that is socialism when you start talking about government control over the financial institutions. But we have something far worse here. We take the so-called private uh, corporations, right, these uh, free market capitalist corporations, of which they are not. We are in a controlled economy here. We take these corporations, we put them on a pedestal, and when they fail, we spread their debt to the people of this country. That's something far worse than socialism. It's the worst form of fascism. So to pretend that government has no place in overseeing these institutions is to sit back and say, go ahead, bankers, go ahead and take over the future, the financial future of this nation, and lead us into financial ruin. And that's exactly what happened. What happened inside of Iceland is the government, the people demanded of the government in 2009, they, they marched on parliament and said, we're not going to uh, take the fraudulent failure of these banks lying down. They cordoned off these institutions. They formed state banks and they looked at the problem head on and they helped the people rather than the banking institutions. So going forward, I hope that, again, this is the model that we look at and government definitely has a place uh, in regulating the financial markets. All right. Charlie McGrath, founder of news website Wide Awake News. Thank you very much. Thank you.